In this video, I'm going to show you the text to columns feature in Excel 2007. Now with the text and columns feature, what it does is it helps separate out text strings based on some delimiters. So say for example here we've got uh, these parts and we wanted to separate out these parts based on some attributes of the part. Maybe this is uh, where it's made, maybe this is what building it's made, this maybe is a, a model number or um, a lot number and we wanted to separate this out based on the hyphen delimiter. Now in a previous video I showed how this could be done using the different functions like the left function, mid function, and right function. Well with just a couple mouse clicks we can actually do that with the text to columns feature. So what we want to do is just select that column of data and make sure you're in the data tab. Go ahead and click text to columns. We'll bring that over here we're going to choose the delimited radio button if that's not already chosen click next and the delimiter of course that we want to separate out our values are based are the hyphen so the hyphen we got a data preview here and it looks like it's already separated them out correctly click next takes us to the step 3 of 3 uh, what kind of column data format we have usually you can just go with the general um, default that radio button clicked already or selected already and we see our data preview here. So we can click finished and what we see here is our finished product of the text string separated out based on the hyphens. Now another useful feature to a useful way to use the text to columns feature is if we've got names. So for example we've got these first name and last names on one column and we wanted to separate them out. So that can be easily done with the text to columns feature. Go ahead and select that column click the text to columns feature here bring that over here because it's going to probably fill, fill out the columns here and we want the delimited radio button checked and of course these are separated out the first name and the last name are separated out by spaces so we're going to choose spaces here and get rid of that checkbox there and you can see right now it's already in this data preview it's separated out first name last name go ahead and click next we can already take the default selection for the general radio button that got selected and our data preview hasn't changed so we go ahead and click on the finish button and there you go first name last name separate out into different columns makes it easier for us if we wanted to do some data manipulation some sorting um, some filtering so that's just a nice way uh, of using the text columns feature uh, with different types of data Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.